crepes. Is there anything they can't do? I don't think so. Do you know how to make crepes? They're actually really, really easy. They have a fancy French name, but they're easier to make than pancakes. The first thing that you wanna do is just melt three tablespoons of butter, and then you go over here to your blender to make the rest. Okay, one and a half cups of milk. Don't be shocked. It's much more liquidy than a regular pancake batter, and it has no leavener. Four large eggs. I like to crack my eggs into a cup and then add them to the mixture. That way, if there's just a little bit of egg shell or something like that, I can get it out. I actually didn't get one single shell in there, so they can go straight in. I'm so amazing. A cup of flour. The spoon and level for proper flour measurement. Straight in. Tablespoon of sugar. My butter is done, so I'm gonna turn it off. Quarter teaspoon of salt, coarse salt, the huge. Now your butter can go in. You do want the butter to be a little bit cool. You just blend this up until it's well combined and bubbles are forming. Now they just need to rest. This resting period is written into every crepe recipe. I think what it does is relax the batter and just make it the most tender that it can possibly be. Put it into a container, any container. This is a leftover reused Chinese food container. I have one, rested. Stir it up a little bit just to recombine. So heat your pan. This one still has some butter in it from before because that's where I melted my butter. As you work, you may need to add a little bit more butter, obviously. I'm using a non-stick 10-inch pan pour in a third of a cup. After you add the batter, you swirl it around in the pan. Like pancakes, sometimes the first one does not come out exactly the way that you had dreamed of. But don't worry about it, because you just need to get the hang of it, right? I don't know, it's not quite set. So remember when I said that the first one doesn't come out good? That was the first one that didn't come out good. Do not despair. There's always next time. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of butter. I think one of my problems for the first one was there was too much fat in there. Also, I think it wasn't hot enough. Making crepes, not for the faint of heart. Do not let the crepes intimidate you. It's the same thing I say about pie crust. Crepes can sense fear, just like a dog and just like pie crust. If you let it get to you, you're dead. So the edges need to be lacy, you get this sort of lacy appearance, and then the center needs to be set, and that's when you know it's time to flip it over. So use your little offset spatula to lift it up, and then use your hands to flip it over. See how perfect that one was? Only my second one. I knew I'd get the hang of it. As you're cooking them, set them aside. You can just stack them right up on a plate and then you can refrigerate them for later use. Or you can use them right away, obviously. Enough with the crepe making. Now for the fun part. I'll get a couple of stuffs out of the fridge and show you something fun to make with these crepes. <laughs> I'm gonna make something super delicious. Ham and egg crepes. So delicious, such a great lunch. I'm starving right now, so yay. I'm just making one because this is just for me. I have my oven at 350, a little bit of delicious ham, one or two slices. Here's the little, I don't know, this might scare you a little. Crack your egg right on top of your ham. Ah, don't be afraid. Then immediately fold up the sides. You're making a little square that's gonna encase your egg. Season with salt and pepper. Then it goes straight into a 350 oven just until the egg white is set, and the egg yolk can be as set as you like. 10 to 12 minutes. While we're waiting, one more idea. Let's make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with our crepes. They're gonna be like peanut butter and jelly roll-ups. Really fun. A little unusual though, because they're made in crepes instead of on a sandwich, right? It's fun to try new things. Just tell that to your kids. <laughs> just kidding, actually, I think they'd really like this. So you roll them up like a wrap, like a little roll-up. You cut them up, you snack on them, they're delicious. I mean, you know what peanut butter and jelly tastes like, but this is just a fun new way to present it. What else could you roll up in here? What about bananas and Nutella? Yum. Maybe the other ones are done? The ham and cheese ones? Do you think they are? Look at that. So excited. I highly recommend making these next time. You're gonna have a brunch or a fun, relaxed little Sunday afternoon dinner. Why don't you make a huge bunch of crepes, put out a bunch of stuff, peanut butter, Nutella, bananas, eggs, ham, cheese, and let people fill them themselves and everybody will have a great time, including you.